This is a video to help you see how to do your best blood spot card for the vitamin D action project. The first thing you need to do from your kit is to have laid out all the pieces in this order. Notice the blood spot card on the left, then an alcohol swab, the two lancets, and a gauze pad and a band-aid. So right now, pick up the blood spot card and on the back of the blood spot card, write in your participant ID, which you get from logging into your account, the date of birth, and the date of collection. And that's all you need to do with that. Now you will go and wash your hands. And once you have done that, you will come back and open up the alcohol pad and wipe the finger that you are going to use for your blood spot. And choosing a finger on a non-dominant hand is generally a good idea. And you're going to use the lancet into the side of the finger. So take a look and see how the lancet is opened. Generally, you'll only need one. There's an extra one in there. You just take off the top of it, press it up against the side of the finger, and press and it gently clicks. At that point, you'll want to immediately wipe it with the gauze pad. This really is important and helps with the blood flow um, and it helps start it. And periodically during it, if the blood isn't flowing, you can wipe again and it helps with the blood flow. Now that you have wiped your finger with the gauze, you can see that the blood is coming to the surface and all you need to do is gently milk it and or hold it over the blood spot card and let it fall directly on the card. Good blood spot. And then you can wipe with the gauze again just to keep the blood flowing. And now you will see the blood spot or the blood again coming to the surface and that's going to be a nice good sized drop that will go straight down to the paper and there we go if for example you do not get enough blood on it and you have put some in the drop itself you can drop blood any place on that filter paper that is necessary and you could actually put another blood spot on there if you wish now that you've done this, take a quick look at the back side of the card inside to make sure that the blood has soaked through. If, for example, it has not, you can still wipe with gauze and put on another blood spot. You want to make sure that you have a fully uh, filled up spot that has gone through. Now we can apply the Band-Aid to your finger which you can wear for 30 minutes or an hour or however long you wish um, just to keep the blood from flowing now. Once you have done all this, the next step will be to set your blood spot card aside and let it dry for approximately 30 minutes. And then once it is dried, you will take a look at it. And at that point in time, it should be somewhat brown Here we want to show you an example of three blood spot cards that would be deemed unacceptable. The first one on your left does not have enough blood in it and the blood spots are too small. The middle one there has overlapping drops and that also would be unacceptable by the lab. This third one, you actually have to look at the back to see that they didn't soak through. There wasn't enough blood there. So all three of those conditions are things that you want to avoid in creating your good blood spot card. So once you have dried your blood spot card, they should be slightly brown and look like this. And all you need to do is close the top flap and tuck it in ever so slightly and put it in the envelope and make sure that your return address on it in a stamp and send it off and you will get your results within the next seven to ten days. Thanks so much for participating in this project and if you need customer service you can dial customer service at grassrootshealth.org 
or you can contact us um, at any time via the customer service hotline. Thanks for your participation.